having falsely accused Stefano, who was preaching the word of the God, they brought him before the council, and all that sat in the council, fastening their eyes on him, saw his face as if a face of a messenger. Acts chapter 7 And the high priest said, Are these things so? And he said, Men, brothers and fathers, hearken! The God of glory appeared to our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia before he dwelt in Haran, and said to him, Get thee out of thy land, and from thy kindred, and come into the land which I shall show thee. Then came he out of the land of the Kashtim, and dwelt in Haran, and from thence, when his father was dead, God removed him into this land, wherein ye now dwell. And he gave not to him an inheritance in it, not even the standing place of one foot, and he promised that he would give it to him in possession, and to his seed after him, when as yet he had no child. And the God spoke thus, that his seed shall be sojourning in a strange land, and they shall enslave and badly treat it four hundred years. And the nation to which they shall be enslaved will I judge, said the God, and after that they shall come forth and serve me in this place. And he gave him the covenant of circumcision, and so Abraham begat Yishak, and circumcised him the eighth day, and Yishak begat Yaqob, and Yaqob the twelve patriarchs, and the patriarchs moved with jealousy against Yosef, sold him into Mithraim, and the God was with him, and delivered him out of all his afflictions, and gave him favor and wisdom before Parao, king of Mithraim, and he made him governor over Mithraim and all his house. Now there came a famine over all Mithraim and Canaan, and great affliction, and our fathers found no sustenance. But when Yaqob heard that there was grain in Mithraim, he sent forth our fathers the first time. And at the second time, Yosef was made known to his brothers, and Yosef's race became manifest to Parao, and Yosef sent and called to him Yaqob his father, and all his kindred, seventy-five souls. And Yaqob went down into Mithraim, and he died, himself and our fathers. And they were carried over to Shukum and laid in the tomb that Abraham bought for a price in silver, of the sons of Hamor in Shukum. But as the time of the promise drew near, which the God affirmed to Abraham, the people grew and multiplied in Mithraim, till there arose another king over Mithraim, who knew not Yosef. The same dealt craftily with our race, and badly treated our fathers, that they should cast out their babies, to the end they might not live. At which season Morshur was born, and was goodly to the God, and he was nourished three months in his father's house. And when he was put out, Parao's daughter took him up, and nourished him for herself into a son. And Morshur was instructed in all the wisdom of the Mithraim, and he was mighty in words and works. But when he was becoming forty years old, it came into his heart to visit his brothers, the children of Yisrael. 
And seeing one of them suffer wrong, he defended him, and avenged him that was oppressed, smiting the Mithri. And he supposed that his brothers understood that the God by his hand was giving them deliverance, but they understood not. And the day following he appeared to them as they strove, and would have set them at one again, saying, Men, ye are brothers, why do ye wrong one to another? But he that did his neighbor wrong thrust him away, saying, Who made thee a ruler and a judge over us? Wouldst thou kill me as thou killedst the Mithri yesterday? And Moshe fled at this saying, and became a sojourner in the land of Madian, where he begat two sons. And when forty years were fulfilled, a messenger appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai, in a flame of fire in a bush. And when Moshe saw it, he wondered at the sight, and as he drew near to perceive, there came a voice of Lord Yahweh, I am the God of thy fathers, the God of Abraham, and of Yishak, and of Yaakov. And Moshe trembled, and was daring not to perceive. And the Lord Yahweh said to him, Loose the shoes from thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. I have surely seen the affliction of my people that is in Mithraim, and have heard their groaning, and I am come down to deliver them, and now come, I will send thee into Mithraim. This more sure, whom they refused, saying, Who made thee a ruler and a judge? Him hath the God sent to be both a ruler and a deliverer with the hand of the messenger that appeared to him in the bush. This man led them forth, having wrought wonders and signs in Mithraim and in the Red Sea and in the wilderness forty years. This is that more sure who said to the children of Yisrael, A prophet shall the God raise up to you from among your brothers like me. This is he that was in the assembly in the wilderness with the messenger that spoke to him in the Mount Sinai and with our fathers, which one received living oracles to be giving to us to whom our fathers would not be obedient, but thrust him from them, and turned back in their hearts to Mithraim, saying to Ahron, Make us gods that shall go before us. For as for this Moshe, who led us forth out of the land of Mithraim, we know not what is become of him." And they made a calf in those days, and brought a sacrifice to the idol, and they were being gladdened in the works of their hands. But the God turned and gave them up to serve the host of the sky, as it is written in the book of the prophets, Did ye offer to me slain beasts and sacrifices forty years in the wilderness? O house of Yisrael, and ye lifted up the tabernacle of the Moloch, and the star of the god Raiphan, the figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babel. Our fathers had the tabernacle of the testimony in the wilderness, even as he appointed who spoke to Moshe, that he should make it according to the figure that he had seen, which also our fathers in their turn brought in with Yeshua son of Nun, when they entered on the possession of the nations, that the God thrust out before the face of our fathers to the days of Dawid, who found favor in the sight of the God and asked to find a habitation for the house of Yaakov. 
But Shalomor built him a house. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not in houses made with hands, as saith the prophet, The sky is my throne, and the earth the footstool of my feet. What manner of house will ye build me? saith Lord Yahweh, or what is the place of my rest? Did not my hand make all these things? Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do ye. Which of the prophets did not your fathers persecute, and they killed them that showed before of the coming of the righteous one, of whom ye have now become betrayers and murderers, ye who received the law to enforcing arrangements of messengers, and kept it not? Now when they heard these things, they were being sawn in half in their hearts, and they gnashed on him the teeth. But he, being full of Holy Spirit, looked up steadfastly into the sky, and saw the glory of God, and Yeshua having stood up at the right hand of the God, and said, Behold, I see the skies opened, and the Son of the Man having stood up at the right hand of the God. But they cried out with a loud voice, and stopped their ears, and rushed upon him with one accord. And they cast him out of the city, and they were stoning him. And the witnesses laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Saulo. And they were stoning Stepano, as he was calling upon the Lord and saying, Lord Yeshua, receive my spirit. And having set the knees, he cried out with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep, and Saulo was consenting to his death.